So, you want to know how to feel confident with your wrinkles. Well, I can tell you how to be confident with your wrinkles. With your imperfections. I can explain it all to you. It's a very beautiful story, really. But the question is, are you willing to listen and are you willing to try? As you can tell, I don't have a background. I don't have my makeup done. I don't really look professional, do I? So you might be reconsidering this video. And that's okay. I get it. Because you want answers now. Wrinkles are made to happen. Wrinkles tell time. Let me tell you a little bit about my mom. My mom looks in the mirror. She looks at herself and she says, I am so ugly. Gosh, look at all these wrinkles. I gotta get that cream. I gotta get that treatment. It breaks my heart. Why? Huh? She's hating every moment that was important in her life. As I said before, wrinkles tell time. Have you ever looked at your grandma and realized these deep, 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 deep lines on her face? Have you ever realized the deep, deep lines right here, maybe? If you look at your grandpa, does he have the same? Have you ever wonder why? Those lines are proof that they have smiled, that they have laughed, that they have fought, but they have survived that fight. Essentially, it's living proof that your grandma, your grandpa, anyone in your life has had time to laugh, has had time to cry, has had time to be angry. So, they may have these deep anger lines from frowning, from being frustrated, from being depressed, from hating their life. But they also have those smile lines, which proves, even at our darkest times, the light will shine. Wrinkles tell time. When I was a kid, I didn't have a very happy childhood. There was a lot of yelling, there was a lot of fighting, there was a lot of scary moments. And I don't want pity for that, because that made me the strongest person I am today. My mom, she went through this, of course, because it was with my father. She looks at her 11, is what she calls it, and she hates it, because it reminds her of my father. It reminds her that she went through living hell. Now that right there is so important. She went through living hell. But now, now that he's gone, and she's moved on and found another that makes her very happy, there's these lines that are developing that aren't her frown lines. They're her. You guessed it. Smile lines. <laughs> because she is happy now. And yes, does she still have her 11? Of course she does. That is part of time. That is part of herself when she was going through her worst period of her life. It's a reminder of how strong she is. How amazing my mom is. And it's proof that even with such deep lines, she can smile. Smile lines are so deep because you smile so often. Because you can smile that often. Your smile is leaving its mark. Why is that a bad thing? Oh, because it makes me look old. Has anyone ever told you that age can't be avoided? Now I've been told, Oh, well, you'll understand when you get older. Maybe I will. But the way I look at things, I don't think so. Be 
Because when I die, I want my body to look like it's lived. And by the term lived, I mean gone through everything. Sadness, anger, pain, happiness, joy, everything life has to offer. If you have an open casket and you are putting a loved one in the ground and their face has nothing on it, sure they look beautiful, sure they look amazing, but do they look like they lived? Or do they look like they worried about what they looked like? I say this because that is the main thing my mom focuses on every day. I'm too fat. I have too many wrinkles. My skin is horrible. And every day is a leading point to your death. Every memory you make each day is something you're going to remember when you die. So if you're constantly telling yourself every day that you hate yourself, you're going to remember your life just hating yourself. You're going to remember your life just hating yourself so much you'll buy any cream, anything that says it will get rid of what you hate. But you're not getting rid of what you hate. You're just covering it up. My mom got, I think it was injections here. Every day after that, she'd be like, look at them, look at them, look at them. They're going away, they're going away. They're gonna go away for the first month, for the maybe first two months. But then you're gonna need another injection. Can't you see that you're not fixing a problem? You're just hiding it, avoiding it. Everybody wants to look like Jennifer Aniston, but she's beautiful. I'm not mad at having nice skin. But wrinkles doesn't make your skin ugly. See that little line right there? And I love it. I love it. And it's mainly because my cheeks are kind of big. But when I smile and I see those lines, oh my, I love them. I honestly, I love them so much. Because it means I've smiled. Wrinkles tell time. That is how to be confident. Be confident in what life gives you. Or don't. But if you can't accept what life is going to give you, then you're not going to be able to accept that you can't get rid of it. If you look at Jennifer Aniston, is her face wrinkleless? Of course not. It's impossible. I mean, I understand that you want your face to look flawless, but babes, it does. It looks flawless. I don't even need to see you to say that. <laughs> because I see your smile lines. And then I see your frowning lines, your pain lines, and your sad lines. I see them all. I see you. You know what I mean by that? I see all of you. Every piece of you. I've seen from the time you were broken, to the time where you found yourself, to the time where you broke again, to the time where you didn't believe in hope anymore, to the time where you became you. To the time where you took all of those steps and you put it into one single piece. And that piece is who you are today. And I would never know if wrinkles didn't tell time. Shape your mind before you shape your body. Your body is your foundation. It is what keeps us standing. And if that's weak because it's taken so many hits, 
it will crumble and it will fall. And that is how to be confident with wrinkles.